So I'm here in the local cemetery. I came to visit my grandfather and um, because it's nice and quiet here, I thought I'd read an extract from my diary and just take in the peace and quiet. My biggest mistake was coming here. I don't have any regrets in my life, nor believe in mistakes, but this was a mistake. However, again, I might have had to come here to see my gran one last time. She has aged so much since I last saw her two to three years ago. My choice was to either call the emergency shelter in the UK or come here. I decided to come here. My uncle has been very spiteful. He won't give me the Wi-Fi password. I can't use the washing machine. He doesn't like it that I cook or eat at my times. He doesn't sleep either, so no space in the house, etc, etc. That's enough about him. Just trying to paint the picture. I've let go, because letting go is the best to do and also for the least pain for my gran. I'm surprised that I don't feel as overwhelmed as life has been quite overwhelming these days. Unless it's just survival mode kicking in. I'm just like, okay, this is how it is. Nothing's changed here. Now I must move on and not return. I'm also impressed at my self-talk. This morning while I was getting dressed, my inner voice said, You're doing really well, Anna. I don't know if that was me or an angel or my guide, as it suddenly just came through, to, through me. But I've noticed that when things get tough, my self-talk or this inner voice is really powerful and keeps me going. I must say one thing, I find it very interesting that every single aspect of my life is given me these situations. I wonder, this, I wonder what this is saying about myself. I wonder what the universe is trying to tell me. I feel like I am doing the spiritual work and I have been doing it for a long time. Maybe I just need to move through all these situations and it's, it's, it's as simple as that. If all goes well today, I'm going to use my time here to renew my Portuguese passport down the road. It used to take one to two weeks to be done here, easiest ever. I feel that is as long as I can endure here, then return to the UK. I really do hope, God, the universe helps me out. That reminds me, when I arrived at Madeira Airport, while I was waiting outside for my gran, I picked up 200 euros. It just appeared there, where I chose to sit. I didn't even see it at first. Considering that I have very little money left, I was like, thank you, universe. Thank you, God. When things like this happen, it doesn't always have to be finding money. It can show itself in other ways. It makes me feel that I'm on the right path or I had to come here, even if only for one to two weeks. So I guess coming here wasn't a mistake then. It's just the first time I felt regret like this. And I have released it now.
I'm going to show you my grandfather's grave. Um, I always enjoy the peace in a cemetery, like just outside on the road. It's really hustling and bustling today. So that's my grandfather. My mother's father. He, um, I grew up with my grandparents and he bought me, he gave me a cow um, when I was really young and he said I could, because he was really, he just um, noticed my responsibility in life and I was really good at saving money, working and saving my money. Because um, I used to work weekends at friends, family friends, um, shops when I was younger. Um, save for my music instruments and stuff. Um, so he gave me a cow and he said I could sell it and use the money to buy whatever I wanted. Um, and I that's when I bought my guitar, amplifier, drum kit. Um feels like another lifetime ago. Uh, the good old days. Life's so different these days. I'm just going to take a break here and um, rest and... Let the day unfold. I just received a phone call from my x-rays that I did in the UK. And there is arthritis in my feet. Um, I mean, I knew it already. So I'm not surprised. Um, You know, it's it's from. I know that it's from the mold and the oxalates. I know that it's that, and I know the body can detox, detox it, as I've told you guys. Um, I just need to get to a better home life. You know, a domestic situation at home, so that I can just unpack my bag. You know, um, my gran, my gran understands everything that's going on, and she's supporting me all our heart and soul I'm not sure what's going to happen next um, so I'm not going to say anything right now um, you know it's a difficult situation you know these complicated family situations you know can't we all just live and let live we all deserve a life here on planet Earth, a happy, peaceful life. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen in the next few weeks. I might not... Um, I don't know. I, don't, I actually don't know. When I wrote this diary extract, it was a few days ago. But now it seems like I'm going to be staying here a little bit longer. Um, but I know that next month sometime I've got my colonoscopy appointment coming up in the UK, which I've had to reschedule. Um, I, I really don't know if I'm going to make it. Well, I'm going to try because I know I've got a house coming up then at the same place I was in last time. Okay, this is all just everything in my head coming out. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired. My head's sore today. All oh, right, about the arthritis. So I know what needs to be done for arthritis. It's got to do with magnesium and borax, which helps to dissolve it and get it out the body. Um, my, when I did this 
the root cause protocol course um they explain a lot about this and my tutor she was, i think she was about 60 or just under 60 she had arthritis all over her body and she started the root cause protocol um and mainly the main focus was on magnesium and borax and she basically got rid of all her arthritis um, and she just has a little bit left in her one finger um, so I know that this is reversible unlike doctors most um, doctors in the what do you call it you know the mainstream doctors don't know about these natural remedies so it was good to get the x-rays anyway um, and you know I've also needed to uh, I need to really focus on strengthening my body so I can handle more magnesium because when the body is really tired and you take magnesium it can tank your adrenals um, so you need to build up the strength of the body with food and rest and sun and peace and then you can take more magnesium um, make sure you get enough sea salt in and um, and also increasing the borax so yeah this is, <laughs> this is an ongoing journey you know I don't know how long it's gonna take um, I've started borax again. Um, you know, it can take a couple of months. It could take years. I don't know, but I'm very positive about this. So I think I'm going to go now. Um, I need to drink some water. So um, a happy and peaceful day to you guys with... Um, Lots of love.